Across the rugged landscape of China, a testament to human endeavor stretches as far as the eye can see. The Great Wall, a name that echoes with history, mystery, and grandeur. It's a structure so monumental, so deeply woven into the fabric of a civilization, that its story begs to be told. Join me as we embark on a journey to uncover the secrets held within these ancient stones, to explore the top 10 secrets of the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China, often touted as the only man-made structure visible from space, is, in reality, far more impressive than this common misconception suggests. Its true length, encompassing all its branches and sections, stretches over a staggering 13,000 miles. That's like traversing half the Earth's circumference. Imagine, if you will, the time, the effort, the sheer manpower required to construct such a colossal barrier. It's a testament to the ambition and determination of the ancient Chinese dynasties. The Great Wall, contrary to popular belief, is not one continuous uniform structure. It's a mosaic of walls, built and rebuilt over centuries, each section reflecting the resources and building techniques of its time. In the early dynasties, readily available materials like packed earth and wood formed the backbone of the wall. As centuries passed and technology advanced, bricks fired in nearby kilns and granite blocks quarried from the surrounding mountains became the preferred materials, lending the wall its enduring strength. The notion that the Great Wall is visible from space has persisted for decades, fueled by popular culture and a sense of awe at its sheer size. This myth has been perpetuated in textbooks, documentaries, and even by some educators, leading many to believe that the wall is a unique landmark that can be seen from the vast expanse of space. However, this widely held belief is simply not true. Despite its impressive length, the Great Wall is not visible to the naked eye from space. The misconception likely stems from the wall's historical significance and its massive scale on the ground. Astronauts have confirmed that from low Earth orbit the wall is practically impossible to discern with the naked eye. The human eye simply cannot pick out the wall from the natural features of the Earth, such as rivers, mountains and valleys, which blend seamlessly into the landscape. Its width, averaging around 20 feet, is simply too narrow to be distinguished from the surrounding landscape especially against the backdrop of mountains and plains. The wall's color and materials also blend in with the natural environment, making it even harder to spot from such a great distance. The Great Wall, though not visible from space, remains an incredible feat of engineering and a testament to human ingenuity. Built over centuries, it stretches across thousands of miles showcasing the determination and skill of the people who constructed it. While it may not be visible from space, its impact on history and culture is undeniable, and it continues to draw millions of visitors from around the world who marvel at its grandeur and historical significance. Chapter 4. The Wall's Age The Great Wall wasn't built in a day, nor by a single emperor. It stands as a monumental achievement, a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of countless generations. Its construction spans centuries, with each dynasty leaving its mark on this colossal dragon of stone and earth. From the rugged mountains to the arid deserts, the wall stretches over 13,000 miles, showcasing a variety of architectural styles and techniques. It began as early as the 7th century BC, with individual states erecting walls to protect their borders. These early walls were made of packed earth and wood, serving as the first line of defense against invasions. It was Emperor Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of a unified China, who linked these disparate walls into a more cohesive barrier, marking the beginning of the Great Wall as we know it. His vision was to create a formidable defense system that would protect the newly unified empire from northern invaders. Over the centuries, dynasties rose and fell, each adding to, rebuilding and fortifying the wall, making it a living testament to China's enduring strength. The Han Dynasty extended the wall further west, while the Ming Dynasty reinforced it with bricks and stone, adding watchtowers and garrisons. Each era's contributions reflect the evolving military strategies and architectural advancements of their time. Today, the Great Wall stands not only as a symbol of China's historical resilience, but also as a cultural icon that attracts millions of visitors from around the world. It is a reminder of the incredible human effort and the passage of time a structure that has witnessed the rise and fall of empires and continues to inspire awe and admiration. 
Chapter 5. Hidden Passages Within the wall's imposing facade a network of secret tunnels and hidden passages weave a tale of intrigue and strategic brilliance. These hidden arteries, some large enough for troops to move undetected, allowed for the swift deployment of soldiers, the secret movement of supplies, and even served as escape routes during times of siege. Imagine the whispered conversations, the hurried footsteps of soldiers on a clandestine mission, echoing within these darkened passages. The wall, it seems, holds secrets yet to be fully uncovered. Chapter 6. The Wall's Purpose The Great Wall, while a formidable defense against invading armies, served a greater purpose than simply keeping people out. It functioned as a bustling artery of trade and communication, facilitating the flow of goods and ideas across the vast expanse of China. Imagine caravans laden with silk, spices and jade, making their way along the wall, their passage guarded by the watchful eyes of soldiers stationed in the towers above. The wall, in essence, was a symbol of China's strength and its interconnectedness. Chapter 7. The construction of the Great Wall was a monumental undertaking, requiring the labor of millions over centuries. Soldiers, conscripted from all corners of the empire made up a significant portion of the workforce. Alongside them toiled peasants, fulfilling their duty to the emperor, their sweat and toil literally shaping the landscape. Sadly, the construction of the wall also saw the exploitation of prisoners of war and convicts, forced into back-breaking labor under harsh conditions. The wall, though a symbol of China's might, stands as a reminder of the human cost of such grand endeavors. Chapter 8. The Wall's Watchtowers. Dotting the wall at strategic intervals like sentinels guarding a sleeping giant, stand the watchtowers. These towers, varying in size and design, provided shelter for soldiers, served as platforms for signaling, and offered a commanding view of the surrounding terrain. Imagine the vigilance of the soldiers stationed here, their eyes constantly scanning the horizon for any sign of danger. The smoke signals that rose from these towers, carrying messages of warning or victory, were a testament to their vital role in the wall's defensive system. Chapter 9. The Wall's Decline. Centuries of weathering, erosion, and neglect have taken their toll on the Great Wall. Sections once teeming with soldiers now stand silent, the stones worn smooth by the passage of time. The forces of nature, from wind and rain to encroaching vegetation, have slowly dismantled parts of this once impregnable barrier. In some areas, the wall has been reduced to rubble, a poignant reminder of the impermanence of even the grandest human creations. Chapter 10 Modern Preservation Efforts Recognizing the historical and cultural significance of the Great Wall, China has undertaken extensive efforts to preserve and restore this iconic landmark. Archaeologists, architects, and conservationists work tirelessly to repair damaged sections, using traditional techniques and materials to maintain the wall's authenticity. These efforts are not just about preserving bricks and mortar, they're about safeguarding a legacy, ensuring that future generations can marvel at this testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. Outro A Legacy in Stone the Great Wall of China, a symbol of resilience, ambition, and the enduring spirit of a civilization, continues to captivate the world. Stretching over 13,000 miles, it winds through rugged mountains, vast deserts, and lush valleys, standing as a monumental feat of engineering and human ingenuity. It's a testament to the power of human endeavor, a reminder that even the most daunting challenges can be overcome with collective will and determination. Built over centuries by various dynasties the wall served not only as a defense mechanism but also as a means of unifying the vast territories of ancient China. As we've journeyed along its ancient path uncovering its secrets and marveling at its grandeur, one truth remains clear, the Great Wall is a living museum, preserving the stories of countless generations who toiled to create this wonder. Each brick, each stone, tells a tale of sacrifice, innovation, and perseverance. The Great Wall of China is more than just bricks and stone, it is a symbol of cultural identity and national pride. It stands as a bridge between the past and the present, connecting us to the rich history and heritage of China. It's a timeless wonder that will continue to inspire awe and wonder for generations to come. As the sun rises and sets over its ancient stones, the Great Wall remains a beacon of human achievement, a legacy in stone that endures through the ages.